So for this installation, I went to the blender.org website and actually downloaded the latest version of Blender 2.90.1, which can be seen here. We'll just double click that and I'm just going to drag the contents of this zip over here. So now we have Blender 2.90.1. And in order to clean this installation, I'm gonna press the Windows button in R and we're just gonna to go to our app data location. And under Blender Foundation, we are just going to put an A at the end of our 2.90 folder so that it is a clean installation, just renaming our press for the purposes of this demonstration. And so now we'll open up Blender and Blender will open as if it's never had anything done to it before. So we will just scale it to fit and we'll just configure it real quick. So left click, search, save new settings. And from here we can go into our preferences and under add-ons we can choose to install. I already have the latest versions downloaded from the market. So we'll just give those a quick installation. First we'll wait for hard ops. and wait for it to enable. And then we'll go ahead and install box cutter. And we'll wait for that to enable and we're done. So from here, we're just going to jump through our preferences and quickly just configure things as I often do. So, you know me, I like to change my active object color. I like to also make my vertex size bigger, make my face dots bigger, make my outline a little thicker raise my viewport sampling because I have a decent GPU. And then under add-ons, we want to enable loop tools. Probably want to enable F2. Probably want to enable curve tools. Just some of my favorites that are built in. Uh, we don't want to change any settings here. We want to turn off auto perspective and under key map, we can search for cursor. And let's see, place cursor. For the 3D view is set here. We just want to change that to be geometry. And then under system, we'll set this to be CUDA using our i9 as well. And we don't want to get a save prompt, but we do want to make auto save lower and turn off, uh, turn on auto run Python scripts. And from there, we can now save our preferences and we are done. So if we press Alt W, we can jump into box cutter using the hops drop down. We can turn on um, box cutter notifications, which means that whenever we draw, we get nice little notifications on screen for box cutter. And here we are just getting to work. So I'll jump over to Ngon, look at it from the front view, maybe press Alt V and turn on EVHQ so I can see things a little better. And just do a couple of little cuts here. Just going through some of our favorite cutters. We'll go to circle, place a circle cut, press Alt V, look at the wireframe, press D, switch over to box, and we'll do a different cut, this time using a knife so we get a better solve. And with that, we now have hard ops installed and ready to rock. So with this, we can just get in here and just create a quick cube and go on an adventure to Box City.